Hi guys and girls on YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you the most common mistake that people make when they're trying to diagnose um, a fault on an LED TV. Um, now I've got this TV sitting in standby, it was brought in because the picture flashes up and then goes off again. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the problem first. Um, it's in standby, I'll press the on button on the remote control now. And if you look, the picture flashed up and it went dark. Um, I'll just give you one more preview of that. Turn the telly off and then we'll turn it on again. Right, so I'll just wait for it to go back into standby. Right, it's back in standby. I'll turn it on again so you can see the fault. That's it, the picture flashes up and goes off. Now the most common fault in LED TVs is the LEDs themselves. But the big mistake a lot of people make is they buy an LED tester and they test the screen LEDs and the screen actually appears to light up. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Right, so this is what causes the problem. Um, a cheap LED tester. Um, so what I've done is I've connected it to the screen. Um, now, just before we, we move on, this is actually a Vestel set. Um, for some unknown reason to anybody, apart from Vestel, um, Vestel used the red wire as negative and the black wire as positive. So if you're dealing with a Vestel set, always remember that, that the polarity marked on the wire might not be right. So I've connected this TV now to the cheap LED tester. I'm going to switch the tester on. And if we look at the screen, right, so it's come on. If we look down there into the corner, you should see through one of the holes in the back, the screen starts to light up. Now you can just see it glowing now. Can you see the light coming through? So actually, the screen, yeah, it's getting brighter now. Um, the actual LED screen now is lit up, and it's lit up, powered from this cheap LED tester. Now, the mistake that everybody makes is they connect the LED tester to the screen. The screen lights up. They think, oh, it can't be the LEDs because it's working from the tester. Um, but this is the problem. These LED testers only give out 30 milliamps. Now, when an LED is faulty, um, it's shorted out or it's got high resistance, it can easily pass 30 milliamps and keep the chain running so the rest of the LEDs light up. But in reality, the LEDs in the tally are running at like two, 300 milliamp at full brightness. Now, a faulty LED cannot pass 300 milliamps. So when you turn the tally on, the screen flashes and goes off again but when you test it with the led tester it stays on all the time so just to demonstrate that what we're going to do now is this screen's actually lit up and it's been powered from this led tester what we're going to do is we're going to turn the tv around and we're going to switch it on but it's getting its power for the leds from the tester so as long as them wires don't drop off when we turn it around Right, well they've not dropped off yet because the screen's still actually lit up. I'm going to turn the TV on now. Let's find the remote for it. Just wait for it to boot up because it is a Vestal, it takes a little while. And there we go, TV's on. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to put it into the service menu and we're going to see how many hours it's run. Right, so here's the service menu. And if we look there, the runtime, TV lifetime is 
3001. So I'll just put that into a calculator. 633001. And divide that by 60, because that's in minutes. Divide it by 60 to give you hours. Um, so that, that this TV has actually had 10,550 hours use, um, which is a lot for a TV that's only 18 month old. Right, so the final part of the video here, um, to demonstrate the effect and make it a lot easier to see, I've actually taken out the screen so we can just see the LEDs. Um, the set's in standby. Um, I've also got there a brand new set of LEDs and connecting board. Um, so that's the TV in standby. I'm just going to turn it on with the remote control now and watch what happens. You see the lights flashed on and got went off again. Um, now what I'm going to do is, I've got a brand new set here. I've got a connecting lead. and We're just going to plug that in in its place and try these. Right, so there we go. That's the brand new set of LEDs connected to the TV. I'll just turn on with the remote control. And there we go. That's the new set lit up. Um, so as you can see by that little demonstration um, it's very common for the cheap Chinese backlight test to, to tell you the LEDs in the screen are alright when in actual fact they're faulty. There you go, that's turned back off again. Right now just to show you this effect for the very last time here's a brand new LED strip. Um, I've already established that it's this top bar that's causing the problem. So what I'm going to do, the set switched on now, I'm going to turn it on, watch the TV, watch the LEDs flash and go off. Don't forget it's the top bar. There we go. So switch off at the mains, take the new LED strip, Unplug the old one. Plug in the new one. Switch on again. And there you go. The LEDs are lit all the time now. So there you go guys. That is the most common mistake that engineers make when they're diagnosing faulty LEDs in a TV. Um, they use a Chinese tester which tells you the LEDs are actually working when they're not and uh, then they go looking for other things when the LEDs are the problem. So just turn it off again. That's a faulty strip. Unplug the new one. Plug the faulty one back in. Turn on. And there you go. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video and um, subscribe to my channel for some more. Goodbye.